first of all, you know, uh, give credit to the Michigan football team. And, uh, you know, we, uh, they beat us today and, and um, you know, what do we do and, and how we go forward, that, that's, that, that's on us. And um, I, I appreciate this group. I said at the beginning of the season, you know, I, I like this group and, and, and appreciate them and, and a lot of it is, is who they are. And uh, I have confidence in, in that group. And, and obviously there's things that, you know, you come after every game and you talk about and, and they're not corrected um, that, you know, we've got to do something about it, right? And, um, you know, but I am proud of the way, yes, you know, as a coach, yes, guys put it out there. I thought we had a number of guys that, that put it out there. And, um, you know, great compete level. And there will be some guys that look and play really good football, but, but hard to celebrate that in a, in a loss. And certainly we've got to, you know, there's things we, we've got to get better at to give ourselves a chance. And uh, we're going to keep working on that. And we're going to we'll get it straight. And the, the way, how do you respond? You, you respond by, by going forward. Yeah. Well, I'm assuming one of the things you think needs to be corrected or worked on is the play, overall play of the offensive line. And I know it's more than five guys, but at this point, what, what do you think your options are? Is it just continue to roll with the same guys? Or do you say at some point, these guys aren't getting done and, and maybe we need to shake some things up? Yeah, it's, um, I, I understand, the, you know, the question, right, Jeff? And, and, and yet, I think part of the, part of the inconsistency is what's, what gets us in trouble, right? And, and, and as you go, you know, certainly, um, you know, you're, you're playing, the guys who are playing, you're playing because you, they think they give you the best chance. And, and I still believe it w with that group, right, if we're talking specifically, you know, the old line. Uh, but really, you can apply that across the board. And um, and together, you know, we've got we've to gotta be more consistent, right? That, that has to be the end, the end game. And, and that's... You know, there's one component that's us, and then every week you play, and you are challenged against another um, others, right? And and so that's where each week, you know, okay, first game, and then you did something. In the second game is well, it's a different team, and the third game and the fourth game, but it's um, you know, I think the it's in them, and we gotta we gotta bring it out in them. Are you angry right now? What's a good word to describe emotionally where you're at after this start? Yeah, I think that it's, um, I think, Jim, the first thing you, you do is, I do is you look inward. And um, and so you're always, you know, every time that you don't, I have, I think it goes, I should start by going back. Like, I appreciate this group and the way they put it out there, and, and therefore you want to do everything you can to help them have success and when it doesn't happen you uh, you look at I look inwardly and, and what is it that I have to do different different have to do better and um, I think that's you know it's driven by a lot of things it's driven by competitiveness it's driven by a care it's driven by um, you know that's your profession you know I've got I've got no problem it, people that want to bitch about me, right, because that this is my job, you know, this is where I'm at. Um, I want to take it, not project it on the kids. Well, where do you think you, what, what kind of schemes or things were you, weren't you able to get back to after you got some of that momentum late in the second quarter after Graham went down? What, say again, I'm sorry. Yeah. You got some momentum there in the yeah. second quarter. Were there things that you weren't able to get back to after Graham and, and Jake went down in that first drive of the third quarter? Yeah, I mean, we certainly, uh, you know, didn't have a good start to the second half, you know, offensively. And um, and then, you know, then it, it it does change a little bit, right? You kind of the way the game plays out and, and you know, we don't do anything.
everything, and then you know the double turnover changes the the the, the, the type of game that you get to play. You know, and, and so um, that's why it's it's always you, you got to play each play, right? And they're all different. And, um, yeah, we, we didn't really get back into a rhythm, and there's I think there's a lot of reasons for that. Well, I mean, there's the reason you guys are pretty grim. You know, I'm just wondering if those two series, back to back, the field goal drive and the touchdown drive, did you finally feel you were seeing a guy perform at the level he believes he can perform at, and you expect him to perform at? Yeah, I think there was that, and, and it looked to me like he was playing, and, and that's really what you want all of them to be. I don't know at times if it's freed up enough to play or uh, certain enough or confident enough. You know, confidence gets thrown out there a lot, but I think it was just a, um, I thought, and, and you look at it, some of our, our very best players, you know, they're, they're playing, it kind of, it's, maybe it's a bad thing to say, but it looks like they're playing the game. You know, I watched Jack Sanborn, and he, he's playing the game. I know he's got responsibilities on every play, but he's, he's playing the game. And um, I think that's, you, you work towards that, and, and the good players can, and I thought there was glimpses of that happening today. Paul, oh, this is a program that has succeeded behind strong offensive line, good run game, not turning the ball over. At this point, do you think this team is struggling to find its offensive identity? But what would you say the offensive identity is right now? No, I think that's fair to say. You know what, um, if you're asking it, you don't know, and, and a good team, you know what it is, right? And um, right now, I don't. I think that's fair, right? Uh, absolutely. The, we. What are we gonna hang our hat on? It's. Uh, there's been times where, you know, it's been good in running the ball. There's been times where we've thrown it efficiently, but I think that we are absolutely here. Uh, there isn't a strong identity right now. And that's something that we've got to work towards getting. And that, you know, confidence, all right, or I should say, that'll come with consistency, not the confidence. But, you know what I mean? And you got to be consistent. To, if that's who you are, all right, right now I don't want us to be known as an inconsistent group. And that's what we have been. And uh, maybe that is our identity right now. We've got to change that. Uh, Paul, in terms of the pass protection calls, how much of that is on the center for you guys versus the quarterback, and how is that affected when, you, when you're switching guys in at both center and quarterback? Yeah, no, it's, I mean, you've got the your base rules, and there'll be some, some things with it, but it's, uh, I don't think that part's a, a, a challenge, certainly. Paul, does the sloppiness, the muff punt, the kick out of bounds, the turnovers, does that frustrate you at this point in the season, and how do you address that? Yeah, and you don't want to have them happen, right? And, and you know, heard this a long time ago, and it's true. I mean, you want to be able to outcoach the fans. And, and when you do those things, you're not doing that. Um, and, and you know how, how big a plays those are. But I also, you know, did, did Jack go up there and say, hey, this is the one I'm going to kick out of bounds? Did a guy go do that? I don't believe that to be true. And so you just continue to coach and work with them. And, and that's, you know, we want to play good football. And we're not doing that consistently. And that we've got to work on and continue to work on. And we've all got to own it. But, um, you know, I'm not going to get, you know, if I, if, shame on us if we're putting someone out there that's trying to do that. I don't think that's the case at all. Yeah, I know it's right after the game, but do you have any idea of the severity of the injuries to Graham and then Jake? Yeah, you know, just uh, talking real quickly afterwards, and, and uh, we didn't have, he's at, he went to the hospital just because the equipment, you kind of look at it and check on it and see. Which one? On Graham. On Graham, okay. Yeah, and Ferg, uh, he was out there, um, so saw him, but, but don't know much more right now. Just on the other side, what's, what's the difference you see in Michigan's defense this year versus the last couple of years when y'all kind of ran wild on? Well, I think they're a really good defense right now, and I think they're playing. Uh, I think they've got a good team, and that let's face it, that helps. You know, our you know our defense. I think we've got a good defense, but not often are they able to play with the lead. 
you know, and that changes the whole dynamic as well there. But uh, they've got really good football players, and I, I certainly think what they do is is good football schematics. And but they, they've got good players, and you know, each year is different. You know, we did not go in thinking that we're playing last year's team or the one before, and we're different. You know, our team's different too. You know, so none of those ever kind of enter into your mind like, okay, this is. You know, we're not playing the helmets, we're playing the individuals. And, and a lot of respect for who they are and as players and, and coaches in their unit. Coach, you know, not the results that you may have wanted, but today was also a day to recognize Barry. You know, what's he meant to you? Uh, what's he meant to the program? Yeah, I mean, Coach Alvarez has meant a ton to me personally. And I feel fortunate to have been able to, to, to be where I could work with him, you know, three different times. And um, so individually, uh, means a ton. And, and, you know, to say it's deserved is almost sounds like a really understatement. You know, what he's meant to this program, this university, uh, this state, and, and you can, I think, make a good argument nationwide. You know, it's, I grew up and, and it, it's very different, you know, because of not just Coach Alvarez, certainly under the charge of Coach Alvarez, but all those that came before. And, uh, and you appreciate that. And that's where, you know, in the seat that I'm in right now and, and the players, we, you know, that's, we want to we do that justice. And that's, you know, there's a part of that feels like when you don't, uh, you're letting the whole group down. Yeah. Paul, I know your defense was under stress. You have people in the office, I don't know if it's internal, but do you and Jimmy, I think there were some times they had a chance to get out the field with a third down and fourth down and didn't execute as they're accustomed to. I'm thinking of that, I think it was 13 to 10, that long pass yeah. to the field house for 38 to set up that touchdown. Yeah, I mean, those those are, um, that's part of the game, you know, and, and um, I still think we're playing at a really high level. And like I've said, maybe in other things, but you're going up against other good players and other good teams, you know, and, and to think that they're not going to get some plays, that's that's a, that's a big ask. I think it would be a false, you know, on that. And that, yet I've, I just think that, you know, kind of what I talked about earlier, like who we have in the army, I mean, you're put into some tough situations and balls on the five. And, and I think they get a field goal out of that. We another turnover. You're talking about three really you know, sudden change, short fields, and um, you know, there's there's some schematics and there's some you know play to it, but there's I think there's a resiliency and a, it's as much of a um, kind of reveals the character as much as the players when when they do, and that's why there there's a lot of guys that I thought played really well, but I get it, right? It, it's it's they don't feel better right now and. And you, you, it's hard to celebrate them, but um, I recognize it and you appreciate that a ton. Are you, are you practicing different? Are you practicing well, would you say? Are you arriving on Saturday thinking, yes, this will be the day everything changes around because we've practiced well during the week? Or, or are, there, are there things you're not seeing during the week that, that give you concern? No, I mean, I, I have, um, I actually do believe that, you know, when you come, and I think it's a fair, good question, right? But it's, um, I've liked the way that they've gone into it. And I like last week, you know, I like the way they they kind of responded and, and attacked, you know, the week leading up to this game. And um, so they genuinely did feel, you know, that they're doing what they can and, and like where they're at right now and, and, and let's go. And, and, and so I think that's been authentic. Time for one more. Paul, I know you haven't had a chance to watch the film, but what do you think the issues were there when they would list the defensive backs? Like the one that, that injured Graham and a couple other times, those guys were coming pretty much untouched. Yeah, I mean, I, I think, and like you said, don't know, but I, on, on one of you, you're talking about uh, a numbers game, you know, and, and, and part of that is, is kind of knowing that. And, and, you know, I'm curious to see if we could have gotten into something that we were trying to get to if we had that. Those type of situations, uh, we didn't in that, but you know that was a big part of their 
uh, what they're going to do in, in kind of some of the overloaded pressures. And, and so um, I thought on the field that might be one. I thought we had a couple of those that we didn't get to. Um, I'm you know, anxious to see if my gut was right or not.